Hey guys, Aaron here. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm at the parents' house for the holidays, so I don't have access to all my tools. However, I still want to do something this weekend and help my parents spruce up their Christmas tree. So in this project, I'm going to show you how to flash Christmas lights to your favorite Christmas music. This project is super easy and all over the internet. So I thought I'd make my own version and show you how easy it is to do. Let's get started. You'll need a few materials for this project. I'm using these cheap speakers, a simple power cord, and a solid state relay. You wanna make sure that your solid state relay turns on at three volts and can handle 120 to 240 volts on load. The first thing you wanna do is take apart your speakers. My speakers aren't held together with screws, so I had to find a way to open them. I took a cloth and wrapped it over the speaker and then gently tapped it with a hammer to pop open the casing. Using a screwdriver, I pried the casing open, which revealed the electronics inside. You want to make sure that you handle these components carefully when they're plugged into an outlet. You don't want to accidentally get shocked by uh, some of the loose cables. Once I'd removed all the components from the speakers, I laid them on the table. I took two small pieces of wire and attached them to the terminals on the speaker. The red wire was attached to the positive terminal and then connected to the positive input on the relay, while the black was connected to the negative terminal and attached to the negative input on the relay. This is what's going to flash our lights to the music. The relay acts as a switch. When the voltage on the speaker goes above three volts, it will connect the two terminals on the load, which will turn on the lights. I took my extension cord and snipped off the end with the female connector. After stripping the ends off the wire, I attached one of them to one of the load terminals. I then took the other side of the cable with the male connector and connected one end to the other load terminal. Make sure that the same prong size from the female and male connector are attached to the relay. The two remaining wires were soldered together, but you can also use some wire crimps to connect these two. After I finished soldering, I used some electrical tape and seal off the exposed wire. I'll make sure to include a wiring diagram for this project on the Hackster.io page to clear up any confusion. Now if you plug in your phone and play some music, the lights should start flashing. If your speakers are too small, you might have to turn up the volume quite a ways in order to get the lights to flash, but the bigger the speakers, the more the lights will flash. You can also achieve the same effect with an amplifier. My parents had this old amplifier laying around in the basement, so I decided to connect it to my solid state relay. On the back, there are a few speaker output terminals. I took some speaker wire that I had laying around and I connected both ends to the terminals on the back of the amplifier. The speaker wire was then attached to the two inputs on the solid state relay. Next, I plugged the extension cord into the wall, plugged an input auxiliary cable from the amplifier into my phone, and connected the Christmas lights to the female connector on the extension cord. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with all of our latest projects, but until then, see you next time.